We're now talking cat large wheel loaders with John Merrick. And John, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks. The Cat 995 is not only the newest cat large wheel loader, it's a new model. Why the addition? So that's an interesting question because um, when you say new model, um, that decision was actually made in terms of all new model more than 10 years ago uh, when we were working on the 994K. So the 994K had almost no resemblance to the generation of 994s before. You could say that about the only thing that was the same was the tires and the engine model. The reason I say that is because the 995, it's a new model, has a new name, has somewhat of a new purpose, but it's based on the 994K, so it's not all new. And that's a good thing because the 994K was a good machine. It had a great reputation. So why does this wheel loader have a new name? So the 995 name represents the increase in the payload capacity of the machine. So the five stands for 50 tons. What was the purpose of the increase in payload? That goes back to the pass match, optimizing the pass match with the truck. The 994K was the big step change in size, more so than the 995. The 995 actually didn't grow in size, grew just slightly in weight, and so we did that fine tuning, and now we have that really optimal pass match to the trucks. What are some of the optional features on the 995? One of the optional features is partial automation of the digging. When you have the partial automation of the digging active, you don't have to use that left pedal anymore. It does all that for you. That covers two of the three features that you get within the partial automation of the digging. The first is tire slip prevention. So what the machine's doing there is when you have more force down on the tires, you have more traction. So it's giving you some extra rim pull. When you lose that force, it's taking away. So it's actually proactively managing that tire before it slips. We found that to be a very effective way of managing the rim pull, as we call it. The second was the lift stall prevention, which is preventing your hydraulics on your lift cylinder from stalling out as a result of too much rim pull, too much force in the pipe. And a third aspect of this partial automation of the digging is what we sometimes call auto set tire or tire set. When you are going in to get that bucket full of material, you have a flat bucket, you're headed towards the pile, you make contact with the pile, and the ideal technique is as soon as that bucket is far enough underneath the pile that you can apply an upward lift force, that adds more weight to the front tire than it takes off the back tire. So we call that setting the tires and you have to do it at just the right time. So this feature is taking the measurements as the machine's digging and it knows the exact right time to give that first lift command. So back to the perspective of the operator, you don't have to worry about the left pedal and your hands are off the implement controls as you head into the pile, the bucket gives the first lift command and then you take over. So it's a really nice blend of letting the machine do what the machine is good at and letting the human judgment do what the human judgment is good at. Speaking of operator technique, that would lead into another optional feature, which is operator coaching. And the operator coaching feature looks at 21 different aspects of the way the operator is using the machine. And it gives you feedback on all those things. And you can review the report for each operator and you can say, here are the things that we still need to work on. And you can do that until every operator is up to the highest level of proficiency. Johnny talked a lot about the importance of bucket size, um, which I'm sure could be a little bit complicated. Um, how does a customer determine what's the best bucket size? And what's the best bucket for what they need to do? The way that, that I would always like a customer to be able to, to make that decision is first to bring in uh, your cat dealer and have them come out to look at the site, look at the job that this machine needs to do not only pain points, but what's the basic job that the machine needs to do? What type of, of blast are we dealing with? Um, what type of density, of course, what is the target payload on the truck? Sometimes it's not just the nominal, but what's the actual customer's target payload? 
how does that divide back into whole numbers of passes into the truck? Then we know what our target payload is. Then we combine that with the type of digging conditions to do. So yes, it's complicated, but it's worth it because over the life of the machine, the right size bucket saves, in some cases, more than the entire purchase price of the machine over time. So it's worth the work to do it right. John, thanks for the great overview on the 995 and Cat Large wheel loaders. Now, let's find out more about the 995.